It is respectful. So, most 3D printers are like that, right? You can tell how they move. So, this is Delta Bomb. It is a what, what we call a Delta 3D printer. It, rather, it's a linear Delta robot. So it's got three motors that control these three carriages. Uh, that's a sanguino I mean, ironically, it's a 3D printer. It's a 3D printer. Yeah. I can never get over it. I wanted to 3D print the wheels as well, but it didn't work out so well. Okay. Are there any like 3D printer projects aiming to build software producing machines? No. Well, I mean, like the surface area obviously has to be larger. Can you build something slightly smaller? What, software building? Building software? No, yeah, hardware building hardware. Because you got to deal with the motors and you can't replicate the Hardware building hardware is the, precisely what the RepRap is about. It's about 3D printers that can be 3D printed. How do you deal with like the controllers though? Electronics. Well, well, yeah, but you can't print the electronics with the yeah, yeah. uh, 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 schematics on it. Well, can just not. Why is that? So one slicer you use, you've got this polar coordinate, right? So yeah. that means it cannot be like something sliced oh, three um, it use the, the controller board does the translation. Oh, it runs Marlin, Marlin has the whole controller translation. Oh yeah, yeah, but no, when you slice the model. It's, it's the same. It is the same. Okay. Yeah, it uses the standard Cartesian coordinates and then the Marlin does the translation. Oh, in real life. I didn't know. I've only built the Cartesian one, so I never tried. I haven't built a Cartesian before. I've used the Cartesian a lot. <laughs> I used the Cartesian to print all of these parts. Yeah. How about brain vibrations? <coughs> Any problems with the vibrations? So so the, no? the, the vibrations, you can feel it as if the whole table starts shifting, but overall, it doesn't. Well, it doesn't affect the print that much. So yeah, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. You, you do get a bit of overshoot. Okay, so this piece, right, you see around the corner, there's a bit of a So that's mostly for trying to call it spot. So how about them? Is that the same recording? Calibrate? Yeah. It, does it, you calibrate by hand? Or yeah, it's also by hand. By hand. Yeah. by hand because I don't have the switch, the switch that does the calibration. I plan to make one. Like, like with an on-off switch? Or, yeah, yeah. Or it's basically one of these switches. Or oh, like the one on top? Yeah, but mounted somewhere here. All these so, ones? Like, yes, so that you can sense a bit. Because okay. it's really difficult to calibrate. Uh, I mean, it's not difficult, it's just tedious. Very, very tedious. Okay. And every time you take out the glass and put in a new one, that shifts it by just a bit. You know, it's not always in the same orientation. And so, um, yeah. Sometimes you end up with glass. So did you print out all these parts to sell? Yes, I did. I designed these. The corner ones, the these. Uh, this one I copied from an existing design, but mm. I designed it. Uh, the existing design had these jaws, but inside, um, I mean, these jaws, but with a socket instead of a plug. Right. Since I'm using hollow tubes and rather thick hollow tubes, I needed to change that. So I made my own. The effector is stock from the roll stock printer. Oh, okay. Um, this is someone else's design. 
the, the fan duct. Oh, okay. Someone else's design. I just took it and used it. Um, this I designed copying someone else's design again. So, so uh, these rows, you designed this part of these ones? Yeah. So, uh, how many microns does it sort of... How much layer? Yeah, how much layer? Uh, yeah. It's adjustable. So you see these, they're hexagonal spaces, right? Right. These are eccentric spaces. They're not... The, the, the hole right, is not in the center. So as you turn the spacer, it pushes the wheel against each other. Okay. So you have to, it's a bit difficult, but you have to adjust both spaces and tandem so that you keep the carriage center. Okay. And the eccentricity is by 1 mm, so you can adjust it. It works by up to 2 mm. Okay, but when, when it moves something down, how do you use it? Uh, the positioning of the equipment saves you hold it down and you can tell how, how far, you know, how much you will get in the I don't know. I don't think there's much. Um, there, I didn't really factor it into the design, but it's more of the, it's more of the quality of the belt that, that really determines your functionality. So, these are very cheap belts. I bought a 10 meter reel from AliExpress for $10. And the same goes for the greens. Those are almost a $10 pack for five greens or something. Okay. I mean, the quality seems pretty okay. How about the outfits? Uh, this is extremely Oh, yes, yes. You bought that also? Uh, no, this is somebody's color. Okay. okay. Was it some kind of shelving taken apart? And the cutting was difficult because you know you need perfect 90 degree joints. But uh, I went downstairs and there's a shop that has this band saw with all the cable thing. So you just keys in the length you need and then it's all. It was very nice and mechanical. I tried hack sewing it myself, it doesn't work. <laughs> the silicone bed, which is uh, this, this red colored piece here, this sandwich, is a silicone heater. Oh, okay. Uh, from AliExpress. Also from AliExpress. Yes. 12 volts, 170 volts. Oh, wow. Which means. The full. The full. Yeah. It's a uh, 24, 24 cm diameter. Yeah. And just in case the heating isn't uniform, I have a uh, 3 mm aluminum plate. Okay. So that acts as my heat spreader. Okay. It also gives me a surface I can stick the silicon thing to because I need something rigid. If I stick it to glass, then one day I might just shatter my glass and then I'll need a few of the bits. I don't know whether that adhesive is removable. So I decided, okay, you know what, I'll just spend the 20 bucks and get this laser cut aluminium uh, next door. Oh, for next door, okay. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah. Oh, and these, the green things, these are um, thermal pads for heat sinks. I used it because it gives you a bit of friction to your glass. Okay. I, I wanted my glass to fit perfectly on this thing, but evidently the glass is smaller than the silicone heater. So, no matter how I clamp this, this thing in, I can't get it to hold the glass. Unless I design it for specifically that glass size. I actually saw an interesting design where uh, someone put, made, made this taller and then used screws to push the glass. Oh, basically hold the position. Right. That one actually makes sense. Yeah, like how it. <laughs> <laughs> so what software you use? 
it's just counter face. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Counter face running, uh, uh, controlling the Marlin running on the Sanguino Loader. Sanguino Loader. Oh, okay. Oh, the mod is something. Why? I see. Right. And uh, the Sanguino actually has terminals for the heater bit. There's a boss cut there to control the heater bit, but um, the traces on the PCB are not, uh, they're not thick enough for the kind of current that this game requires. So that's why I have this external relay. Oh, I see, okay. The relay is just like mm. on off or on off? Okay. So it's on off. It's a solid state relay. It's on off and. Um, so the insulation is bulging out there, I'm not sure why. Mm. Uh, I think it's my tempering valve was bad. Oh well. So, how much did you spend on parts together? Mm. Oh, yeah. But that's not counting the screws. Screws apparently are not that cheap. I mean, they're, they're cheap when you they're, they're cheap when you use them in ones and twos. But when you use them in hundreds, they're not cheap anymore. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. The thing is, I, I buy them like 50 at a time. Okay. Yeah. My, my last batch of screws was about six dollars for hundred pieces. Okay. Four packets. It adds up. It, it all adds up. Yeah. So for this, what did you use? Lima 17. Lima 17. Yeah. Uh, 1.8 degree. With a, uh, the, I think the current rating is for 1.2 nanos, yeah, something like that. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, 5 volts. I needed to get a lower voltage rating with the stepper motor because. Uh, if, if you get one that's rated too high, mm -hmm. it ends up with significant winding resistance inside. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, because the stepper drivers do not know how, they're not able to bump up the voltage. Oh, okay. You might not be able to get the current Okay, that's the stepper drivers on the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 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 And there's a, there's a trim plug there that you can tweak all the rays. Oh, right. So the, the trim plug is a test point. Test that against the ground pin, which is what it's using. And then um, from that you can calculate how much current you have. This gives you a voltage. And if you take that and divide by eight. It's very hard by the range of time, she can cover every process. Okay, so how about these? Yeah. 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 They are printed, right? They are printed. So, what uh, are the ones that we are running to? Uh, these are nylon. I have no idea how much they were. Uh, I hope that they don't swear too much. Uh, I mean, I have a new one. But nylon itself is a very good resistor. So what made you this decide to build that car <coughs> rather than uh, because we have a car GC. Uh, oh okay, you already have a flash for trade. What do you think is the trend is better than that? Oh but then it's the just the yeah. 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 So the intrinsic benefit of a delta is that it looks nice to watch. It looks great to watch. I know, yeah. 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 So, have you found this to be more accurate? I have not really touched it against each other. 
I, I found that you can get significantly better quality from a Delta when trying to print very high speeds. Oh, this is a gear that I printed at 120 millimeters per second. The PCB is in the transition that we can go all the way down to 40 Oh, really? And especially these circles, like when printing these circles, the cartesian tends to slam down. Okay. Basically, it doesn't know how to slow down around the circles after the centripetal acceleration. So it starts cogging. Okay. It doesn't lose any steps, but it jams. Well, now it's waiting for you for dinner. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, well thanks for your explanation. I appreciate it. You're going back. That's great fun. Well yeah, done. Yeah. 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 I shouldn't have started a print. Why? Because now you can't. Don't leave here. Now you can't change something.